Royal Enfield breaks into new territory with its Scram 411. As the devilishly clever name suggests, this build has strong ties to the old-school scrambler culture with genetic markers to match. The overall build is that of the old UJMs, also classified as standard models, and the design team really hit the mark with a fresh interpretation of the scrambler setup. This allows the pilot to have a very relaxed riding posture once you factor in the scoop seat and low, jockey mount pilot's foot pegs. Seat height is kind of tall for shorter inseams at 31.2 inches, but that's the trade-off to accommodate the long-stroke suspension components necessary for rough off-road work. Unfortunately, the seat is rather firm, to be kind. The blackout treatment dominates the overall non-sheet metal parts with the exception of the exhaust system and bash plate. A large round gauge and smaller companion gauge rides atop a single round headlight. It's offset to one side at a jaunty angle with matching round mirrors to bring it all together. The 4-gallon fuel tank contributes a modest hump to the fly line while the seat rocks a faux tuck and roll look. A lofted pillion pad segregates pilot from passenger while fold-up foot pegs and a tubular JC rail complete the girlfriend goodies. The taillight mounted well out of harm's way, sits on the tip of the tail but above the actual fender. A mudguard assembly mounts to the rear fender proper and carries the rear blinkers and the license plate also used to extend the rear wheel fling coverage. In the end, it's just a rad little scramble-tastic sled that just seems to say, fun, even when sitting on the stand. Power for the Scram 411 comes from an air-cooled thumper that runs a 78mm bore and 86mm stroke for a 411 cubic centimeters displacement. A mild, 9.5, to 1 compression ratio should handle mid-grade fuels without dieseling or pinging. The Royal Enfield Scram 411 engine produces 24.3 horsepower and 23.6 pound-feet of torque. Power maxes out at 6,500 RPM while torque, according to the factory, could top out at 4,250 RPM, plus or minus 250 RPM. I don't know, it sounds kind of imprecise to me, but what are you gonna do? Digital ignition and electronic fuel injection manage the engine, but that's all you get for engine control electronics. Forget about higher electronics. The wet clutch has a buttery smooth pull, but like the rest of the machine, there's no fendanglery like a slipper clutch or any such business. A 5-speed transmission and chain-type final drive complete the drivetrain. An overall drive ratio turns in a Royal Enfield Scram 411 top speed of 80 mph. 